Good afternoon. My name is Logan. I've lived in Brookline, New Hampshire for the past 26 years. My name is Kia. I've lived in Nashville, New Hampshire for the past 12 years. We are very active members of the African American community here in New Hampshire. For the past three months, we have been talking to African American families to better understand why there are gaps in services and resources for young African American families. From virtual group calls, we were able to identify some of the things working well in our community. For example, many families talked about close relationship with providers who met their basic needs and were also helpful in making connections to other services the family needed. And still, other families talked about the strong supports we have within our community, like families, friends, and churches. However, we also noted a few things that could get better. For example, at times we have felt racial discrimination from service providers, and we also heard that African American fathers feel unwelcome and overlooked when they try to access services. Of course, like many families, we were all impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, and our families worried about the quality of telehealth services. We also struggled with childcare closings, extended wait lists for healthcare and developmental services, and difficulty reaching a real person to answer our questions. I know none of these things are new to you as African-American families here in New Hampshire, but I am excited to share that this is a movement, an equity movement. And we are not stopping here. Join us on this equity movement to learn more.